Good morning ladies and welcome back to another episode. It's really good to have you guys watching today. Today me and my buddy Adam Orre from Catch With Care are down in the southeastern parts of Sweden in the archipelago looking for some giant striped lunkers. We have been filming an epic production containing the probably most insane perch fishing I have ever seen on YouTube so far. Uh, Adam has mostly been fishing uh, the piglet shad 8.5 centimeters uh, the last uh, the last couple of days here and he has been catching some giant perch. But me as a cameraman what I have been uh, uh, what I have been wondering about probably the whole time is that would this giant ass perch be willing to eat curly tails also the the piglet shad 8.5 has a paddle tail uh, and Adam hasn't barely been fishing with curly tails for the whole for the whole time so what we're gonna do today it that I will be rocking our newest member member of the canal gratis family uh, this is uh, this is Nettel Mini. It's a small bait that we designed uh, for all the perch fishermen around the world. Probably some sander will eat it too, but mainly for perch and other predatory fish. And this is the first time I'm trying it out today and it looks so incredibly good in the water today. So I think that uh, now it's time for us to find the perch and then we will start to target them. Me with curly tails and Adam with paddle tails. The one who wins this competition today due to the fact that there are no big numbers of fish here today, is the one who will catch the biggest perch of them all. Let's get, let's get this challenge going. So, we're gonna start off by locating the fish and we do that with our Solex. And this is the neat part of it, is that the Solex has the mega imaging put two fingers on the side imaging and I get a full screen. And this way I can easily locate fish, big fish, schools, rocks, hard bottom structure, soft bottom structure, weed lines, etc. And while I'm doing this, I am also mapping my way around this place. So you see, we have been going around here for a couple of days, logging everything on my sear line card. The sear line card makes it available for the Outer Shard Live to log everything, not just for one day, but everything. So I can just keep on recording. Don't make any backups, just make recordings on recordings on recordings. So I got everything just logged up. And hopefully we'll see some fish on the side imaging. We know that they're holed up on that position. We can fish that for a while. If it doesn't give any results, we just move on to the next spot. The fish are migrating, so they pass really shallow to deep, shallow to deep. And they pass from the, uh, from the deeper water in shallower. So you see here, you have a lot of rocks rolling downwards to our left. And the rest of it, you see here is hard bottom, and then you have soft bottom structure. So you have soft bottom around these hard points. You can just drive up, you search the area, you see the fish, you can fish more focused and put more dedication on the correct spot. Instead of you just fishing an area you think they are it, but they aren't. You're wasting time. Oh, it's a nice school. Okay, these guys we're gonna fish at. We're gonna we're gonna have these poor bastards now. Yeah, let's take some perch now. Enough about sonar imaging. Uh, now we're gonna smack him down. Fish on, baby. Nice. Fish on, we got a fish on. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the first fish on for today. Oh man. Look how she inhaled that bait, man. Oh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to tell you that, you know, probably a lot of you guys who has followed us for, for some time knows that my biggest perch uh, isn't that big at all actually uh, but the number of ginormous brautosaurus perch that are uh, slaying it down the bottoms over here is absolutely incredible 
I mean, this guy is probably like 1100 or something. 1100, 1150 something, I'm gonna roughly guess it too. And it's not even a freaking big fish over here. It's crazy. I mean, we have, we have 20 of these guys in the last couple of days who we didn't even film because they're so small. But to me, this is, this is so big. This is so big. Today it's shit cold, it's like minus degrees, but the perch are biting and uh, I don't really complain, but it's so cold on the fingers. Now we're gonna let this first fish of the day, probably around a kilo, Adam told me it was, on Nettel Mini. Uh, and it's uh, 102, 102 the curly tails, but we're hopefully gonna get a lot bigger than this one. So, ciao ciao! Such a beauty. Now it's time for you to get some fish, Adam. We know that this is an area they pass through with the current. I'm starting off with the uh, new size of the piglet chat. It's 8.5 centimeters. It's been working like crazy good. It's a bit more slimmed down than the, than the uh, big brother, the piglet chat 10 centimeters. On this, I am using a uh, light jig head. I'm fishing the uh, new BFT Lizard X 520 gram. 7.4 and it's super nice to do the light fishing with it. All right, let's get to it. Yeah, so Adam is uh, starting off with the Piglet Chat 8.5, 8.5, and I'm still going with the Nettle Mini on Triple S Jig Head 5 gram. I'm only using 5 gram because it's uh, 1.7 meters over here. So hopefully this is going to be perfect. Just letting it sink to the bottom and slowly, slowly, slowly dragging it across the bottom. I think it's gotta be a pike. Or I'm not sure actually. This style of fishing is pretty new to me, you know? But if it's a perch, I think we might gonna have to use the net on this one. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Dang it, boy! <laughs> 950 grams won't take me far in this competition. But it was pretty fun to get a good bite after just switching to Nettel Mini with a triple S jig head. Nice fish, now we're gonna let it go back to spawn. They're all in here for spawning, so bye bye. And then it's just to keep on casting. Okay, so I'm gonna try out a little rig called Carolina. And what I'm using is a seven gram tungsten weight. And uh, I'm going to rig it with a piglet chad, eight and a half centimeter smelt UV. And this one I put on a extra light J hook from owner which makes it super light. So when the weight hits the bottom, the dealer is gonna slowly drop. I'm gonna give it like five or six seconds of drop time. And it's gonna lay there on top of the seaweed. And the perch is gonna pick it up. It's gonna be nice. So for this type of fishing, I am using a uh, 7.6 Lizard X with CRO, CRO8 braid this is strike wire vertical nice and thin because you need a lot of sensitivity and a lot of power etc when fishing like this so you can really set the hooks but have that super super feeling when you move the the lure across the bottom and I'm seeing Mille doing a lot of stuff in the front what you doing there buddy I'm just losing all my fish You're losing all your fish Okay, all right. Give it a little bit of slack, and you can you can put them in there. Ooh. Just after lunch, the goulash power, <laughs> the tuna sandwich power. Uh, Mille was on the phone and um, talking about how cold it was, 
how, uh, how sad he was, that he was cold, how much he was freezing, etc., etc. And, you know, I don't want to listen to that, so I just kept on casting and got a big one on the piglet. This one would never come off. There we go. Smelt UV. Yeah, this is nice. It's, uh, it's really long. You can see the, the length of it. My goodness gracious. Yeah. The referee is gonna say that's a 48. 1560. <laughs> what a stunning perch, man. Really nice fish. The thing is, a fish around 48 centimeters this time of the year. Let's see, she's a bit tired. You can see the, the dorsal fin would pop up when they are they're pretty pretty slowed out. If they're angry, the, the dorsal fin just pokes right up. So normally a fish around 48 centimeters, this time of the year would be around 1.8, 1.9. Uh, we caught a fish a couple of days ago, it was 49.8. It was 1980, it was super fish. This fish has not yet really sucked in all the water it needed to get the belly going. So we're gonna let this fish go back. Always release the big fish. Yeah. All right, we so 1580 versus yeah. like 980, <laughs> 980 or something. So Mille, you gotta work on your your jigging game, man. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna get to it right away. Yeah, and I'm gonna improve my lead. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, it's a big one, man. I think I'm gonna net this one. Look at this beautiful fish. Oh man, it's barely hooked. <laughs> yeah, dude. After I was a bit lost there after Adam's big 5, 1580 on the piglet shad 8.5. But I had my net Mini on the triple S uh, jig head and I had it on the bottom and it sat on the bottom and look it's barely even hooked this fish look <laughs> it's crazy uh, these fish they're just about to go into spawning so it's really important that you don't you don't rush them that you're careful with them if you want to have this crazy good fishing in the future we need to fish with responsibility and take care of the fish 121 122 and uh, so that means uh, 1200 grams, 1 1.2 kilos. This is actually my second biggest biggest perch of my life. So I'm super happy about this fish. Oh my goodness gracious. So I have 380 grams up to Adam's 1580, but 1.2 kilos, still a really, really, really good fish. So now we're just gonna put her back to the water. Bye bye, baby. This is actually my first uh, open water fishing for the year. Uh, I, I'm usually fishing, uh, fishing a lot of uh, a lot of pike, and this is actually my like first serious time fishing for perch. And I can honestly say that I do think there's a lot of pike fishermen around the world who who don't know how fun this this style of fishing is. It's so much it's so much finesse fishing about finding the fish. And I have a big feeling that 2019 will be the year of the perch. Oh man, it has been a tough day today so far. But we're... We're trying out new methods and we see some fish on the sonar every now and then. So I think it's just a matter of time before we... Before... I get something big, bigger than my top fish. Adam still has the 1580 on top and that starts to get a really big fish even over here. So that can be hard to beat, but my biggest is 1200. So I think that's way, I think that's really possible to beat. There we go, Adam. Finally, it's been a long while without fish now. Oop. 
The way our drag is going, it sounds like a decent fish. It is, it is, it is. It is a decent fish, yes! Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. Adam, you're the fucking man. <laughs> okay. Oh. Maybe the bike is on right now. Yeah. So we're gonna do like this. Jag ska jag säger bara det där igen för kameran om de inte. Är det bara att försöka prata hyfsat högt liksom. Okay, so the bite is on. We got a nice fish right here. This feels like it's 1200 and 50 something it's not that super heavy but it's a really beautiful fish look at it it's all gold and it came on the carolina rig look at this straight through straight gutter it's so clean like that so the fish goes back into the net the hook goes back into the lure adam goes up into striking mode and we're gonna fill this Mille to execute Sir, yes, sir. There we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was so crazy. They're just standing. They're just taking the bait on the bottom. But so nice with a fish after this long without it. Oh, it's a good pale, pale one. Oh, I'm so happy about it. Oh, so freaking nice looking fish. Look at this beautiful one. Doo -doo. Yeah, you see the nettle mini is just like this with a triple S jig head. A banger. Yeah, so just putting it into the net. And hoping for another one. Not breaking the 1580, but still a very, very, very beautiful fish. Oh, we have some drag over here, man. I just asked him if he was willing to go to another place. And the answer to that was to set the hook on. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready with the net. We have two rather small ones in here if you compare it. Oh my goodness, man. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Uh, 1.3 kilograms on the Carolina rig. The Carolina rig has saved my ass today. So we're gonna go hammer some more on this edge just as the sun sets. It's a super sunset and super fishy. But we're gonna let these uh, babies go back now for spawning. And uh, just like you, we will catch you later and we will catch this later also. So, awesome day today, man. A tough day, but the tough days is what makes you and us a better fisherman. So, I really learned a lot today by hanging with the Perch Pro Master, Adam. So, great day. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and leave a like if you learned anything or if you like catching a big, big, big perch. Now we're gonna go home to sleep and we have one final day tomorrow. So we'll of course bring the camera, but see you guys tomorrow.